So this topic that is about the competitive learning, competitive learning that is a winner takes all approach. That means, that means when we have many clusters, we only pick one clusters. That is the winner cluster centers. We are going to update that winner cluster center. Okay, and now that is um we are. When we talk about the competitive learning, that is a, a kind of decision directed version of the k-mean cluster, um, k-mean cluster method based on the new network learning rule. That means you will just find out that the learning or the update rule that is very similar to the gradient descent rule we have done before, and the cluster and the update that is based on the difference between the samples and the clusters. And um, so, as I mentioned before. When we do the update, that is, we are going to pick a single cluster center to update. That means the winner cluster to update. All the rest will remain the same. If we talk about the drawback, and then so the first one, that is, because each time, just like the gradient descent approach, it is not a global. It is. It does not guarantee a global optimal solution can be obtained. Sometimes it will stuck in the local minimum, and another one, if you do not choose the right parameters, and then um, the algorithm may not converge. And then um, we are, we have two versions, and we will later on find out that the first version, that is, without normalization, yeah, with, and then the next one that is with normalization. So when we do normalization, we also need to have the augmentation to. Generate some augmented data set before we are going to perform normalization. We will see the details. Now, this is the version one without normalization. If we talk about the steps, and then so that is initially, when we enter the algorithm, we need to determine the WJ. WJ that is previously we used the MJ. They are the cluster centers. So before we want. The algorithm we need to initialize um, the cluster centers. One possibility that is we choose these cluster centers from the data set. For example, in the k-mean clustering, we choose some of the x as m one, some of the uh, one of the x as the m two, and so on. But it is not necessary. So we can just randomly generate these cluster centers. So it is up to us. The next important step that is. This is the update rule. Once we pick up the winner clusters, we are going to update the clusters using. You know, we are going to update the cluster center J using this update rule. This is the current value and eta. That is the learning weight we have to define. It must be greater than zero. And then this is what I mentioned before: the difference between a random selected samples and the winner clusters, yeah. So put them together. This is the updated W. Okay. So in order to find, in order to identify which is the winner clusters, we are going to use the Euclidean distance. That is to find the sample, find the randomly picked sample between the cluster, all the cluster centers, and pick the one which give us the smallest value. And then this is the Winner clusters we use to update. Later on, I'm going to give、um, an example to demonstrate this idea. Now, this is the pseudo code, and then、um, so I'm going to use an example, this example, to demonstrate the overall idea. This pseudo code that is the competitive learning algorithm without normalization. So initially, we have to choose either. Eta that is greater than zero. That is the learning weight we used right here, and n that is the number of samples. Yeah, so we have x one, x two up to、um, x n. That is the sample size. C that is the clusters we want to generate. That means we are going to divide the samples, divide the data set into c clusters. W one, W two, W C. They are. Previously, we use M one, M two, M C. They are the cluster centers. Now, when we first enter this line, we are going to randomly pick a sample x. For example, we have many samples 
at the moment we have x1 x2 x3 up to x8 it means that the total size of the data set that is 8 so we are going to randomly pick one from this samples for example um, now C we choose to be W1, W2, W3 uh, so C that is 3 we want to divide these samples 8 samples into 3 clusters and now we enter this line this line say I'm going to pick X5 yeah so this sample is randomly chosen randomly chosen now I'm going to go to this line this line that is to classify X just to tell you which clusters it belongs to so what we are going to do is just to find the distance so X5 minus W2 find the distance this is the X5 minus uh, W1 and then this one that is X5 minus W3 yeah so we have these quantity in that case we just pick the one which give us the minimum distance yeah so for example this line which give us J that is to to illustrate that X5 is closer to W2 rather than W1 and W3 so in this line J that is 2 for this sample X yeah okay so now this line just tell us that we are going to update W2 only using this update rule yeah with the information of the current value of W2 as well as the learning weight as well as this X that is X5 and this is W2 okay so each time we only update one cluster center and then so we are going to check whether there is any significant change in W1, W2, W, w uh, up to WC and then so if yes and then go back to the top pick another samples until there's no change and then we are going to stop now we are going to go to the version 2 with normalization uh, before we are going to run the algorithm we are going to do the augmentation that means x1 to up to xd that is different from this x1 um, um, x1 x2 x3 yeah so this is different from x1 so this is the bow phase x1 this bow phase x that is which contain a lot of features from x1 to d yeah so this is this x in the previous figure the x right here that is a vector so what we are going to do to do the augmentation we are not going to use this x but we are going to add one at the top to insert one more element right here and then we are going to do normalizations once we have this new x prime x prime divided by the l2 norm of x prime to recall that l2 norm of x prime that is 1 square plus x1 square plus x2 square up to xd square this is the l2 norm using the information right here yeah and now now as i mentioned before the initial the initial uh, w that is we can pick it from the data set yeah so we can just simply pick x1 to be w1 x10 to be w2 so and so yeah now the update rule that is very similar to what we have done before the next iteration wj in the next iteration that is equal to the current value of wj plus the learning weight greater than zero times the picked times the picked samples yeah so this wj that is not all wj this wj that is the winner j winner j that is we only have one winner that winner that is 
we are going to compute this inner product, which gives us the largest value, and then that is the winner. Instead of using the difference right here, instead of using the difference, we use the inner product to determine which is the winner. The idea is more or less the same. So you can imagine that W, that is a vector, WJ, and then this is the X. So the inner product, that is related to this beta. Yeah, so the inner product, that is WJ times X, the altitude norm of WJ, uh, WJ times X, the altitude norm times cos theta, that is the angle between them. So when the theta becomes smaller and smaller, this value will become smaller. So it means that this value will become closer when the angle becomes smaller. So it just, it is, the meaning is just the same as this one. So the distance is smaller. It means the theta is smaller, yeah? Okay, and now important steps. To run the algorithm, we need to perform normalization. That means at some point of the pseudocode, we have to normalize the W, yeah? And then, um, so this normalization, that is, we, we are going to perform that in each iteration. When we determine the winner W, we are going to use this let G. So as I mentioned before, pick the largest value, yeah, pick the largest value. So this is the complete picture, the overall picture of the version two, the competitive learning algorithm with normalization. The same in easily, we are going to choose a learning weight greater than zero and prepare a data set, the data set size that is n, choose the value of C, that is the number of clusters we want to generate. W1, W2, up to WC, that they are the cluster centers. Yeah, initially, we can just randomly pick the values or choose some samples as the cluster centers. Now, the first step that is to perform augmentation. So we are going to add one at the top to all the samples to form a new XI and then perform normalization for all samples, xi divided by the L2 norm of xi. So from this point on, all x right here refer to the augmented normalized sample xi right here. Yeah. Okay. Now right here, this point that is just to find out, say x, we have w1, w2, w3 find out all this W transpose times X. So we have W1 transpose X, we have W2 transpose uh, X, W3 transpose X. Find out all this value. Pick the one, give us the maximum value. For example, W1. And then in that case, right here, J, that is, one so we are talking about w1 we assign w1 plus eta x this x that is the randomly picked sample yeah so we only update x1 uh, sorry w1 after we update w1 we are going to perform normalization wj divided by the l2 norm of wj yeah check whether there's any change in w1 to wc and then if there's no change, and then we stop, we turn these centers to be the solution. Otherwise, go back to the, go back to the top of the do while, to the do loop, do until do, pick another patterns, update another centers. Okay. So to summarize a bit, we have two versions of the competing, competitive learning algorithm. The first one that is without normalization, the next one that is with normalization. Without normalization, we do not need to do input augmentation as well as no input and weight normalization are required. 
when we do the similarity measure, that is to determine which center is the winner, we use the Euclidean distance. Yeah, so that is we find out x minus w j. Yeah, so find the one which give us the smallest distance, and then that center will be updated using this update rule with this learning weight. For the version two with normalization. As the name suggests that we need to perform input augmentation, we need to perform input and weight normalization, and then the similarity measure that is using the inner product. Pick the one which gives us the maximum inner product. That is the cluster. We are go that is the cluster center. We are going to update, yeah, using this update rule. 